In honor of Black History Month, we recognize those athletes who made a difference on and off the court, the field, and the track, both here at home in Washington County and wherever their lives are taking them. Tom Parson Jr. was a solid basketball player for the North High Hubs, known for his agile ball handling skills, good defense, and his fair shooting. Mr. Parson went on to play at HJC, where he was captain of the men's basketball team both years he attended. He led the Hawks in assists in 1972 and 1973, and he was even named to the Maryland JUCO All-Tournament team while averaging 13 points per game. He went on to study education at Concord College in West Virginia. There, he led his team in assists and was the second highest scorer. After graduation, he had rewarding careers at the Board of Education, in insurance, and he worked nearly three decades at Roadway Express, earning his way into management. He overcame several challenges throughout his life, like the loss of his four siblings. But Mr. Parson said he always found strength in his family. He's now a proud father to his daughter, and he says he's living a better life now than he ever has. In his words, life is too long to be miserable and too short to take for granted. He credits his success to his ability to stay positive, especially in the face of adversity. Kathy Parson lit up the hardwood for the Hubs, graduating in 1979. She made a name for herself as a point guard, earning the title Player of the Year for three years. She went on to be a pioneer for black female athletes at WVU. She was the first woman to obtain a full scholarship to WVU, the first player to net 2,000 points, and she was the first woman to be inducted into the WVU Hall of Fame and have her jersey retired. Ms. Parson is the women's all-time leading scorer, netting 2,128 points in four years. She also tried out with the Harlem Globetrotters and played with the Virginia Wave upon her graduation. She succeeded in coaching careers at Christopher Newport University, where she is still the winningest coach of all time, as well as with the Washington Mystics and Howard University. She says she's always strived to reflect God in her ability to play and teach the game. Coach Parson is embracing her role now as a scholar and is earning her doctorate in community college leadership at Morgan State University. She lives in Upper Marlboro and works for the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. A North High 1998 graduate, Tia Ferguson is a household name at Hagerstown Community College. As a Lady Hawk, Miss Ferguson helped lead her team to nationals and was named most valuable athlete for Regent during her freshman season. She also played two years at Benedict College, competing in two national championships on that stage. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in communications and moved south, where she took a job as a probation officer in Florida. Ms. Ferguson recently felt led to change careers, and she's back in school at Indian River State College, where she's studying radiography, exploring her passion for helping others through the healthcare field. She says she's doing what makes her happy and never giving up on her dreams. As a high school and college athlete, Ms. Ferguson saw her peers moving in other directions, but she has remained focused and continues to strive for success. Rodney Monroe, a St. Maria Goretti Gale from the class of 1987, led his team to three league championships, taking the title in the Baltimore Catholic League two of those years. After earning the title Maryland State Player of the Year twice, netting over 3,000 points in his young career, and being ranked third best player in the country, he was heavily recruited, but decided to play for North Carolina State University. He was the all-time leading scorer with over 2,500 points, and he was named ACC Player of the Year in 1991. Upon graduation, Mr. Monroe was drafted to the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA and played professional basketball across Europe, traveling to over 15 countries. He's landed at South Lake Christian Academy in North Carolina, where he coaches basketball, combining his love for the game and his faith in God. He says he's blessed to be able to talk openly about his faith with his students, and he shows them that talent can open doors, but it's their character that will keep those doors open. He's clearly walking in the footsteps of his mother, Ruth Ann Monroe, who has left a legacy in the community, touching the lives of children through her years of selfless devotion at the Memorial Recreation Center. 
Earl Stoner is a 1986 graduate of North High, where he earned all-county and all-conference honors as a runner. In 1985, he took home the conference championship in cross-country. He studied masonry at Washington County Technical High School with no plans for college, but HJC's coach Bo Myers convinced him to take another track. As a student at HJC, Mr. Stoner was an All-American runner and a national champion at 1,500 meters in 1988. Mr. Stoner was later awarded an athletic scholarship from the University of North Florida, where he continued his All-American streak. He even qualified for the 1996 U.S. Olympic Marathon Trials on his first try, crossing a marathon finish line in Minnesota in 2 hours, 19 minutes, 48 seconds. At the Olympic trials, he finished in the top 50 of the field, but only the top three runners went on to the Olympics. Mr. Stoner is now at the top of his field in the community, running the Washington County Health Department as the health officer. Kim Saunders is a graduate of North Hagerstown High School, HCC, and the University of Arkansas. While attending HCC, she participated in cross country and indoor and outdoor track and field. An exceptional sprinter, she won regional championships in the 100, 200, 400, and 4x100 relay, and 4x400 relay. She made all region double X placing in the javelin, shot put, and long jump. Kim received an athletic scholarship to the University of Arkansas after earning All-American honors at the NJC AA National Championships. The niece folks first got a jump on basketball at Broadford and Christian Academy, where her jersey has since been retired. As a member of the Lady Hawks, she helped propel the team to a 28-4 season, making a 47-13 run over two years. She won the Maryland JUCO regular season title, and they were runners-up in Region 20. She was named Most Valuable Player in the Maryland JUCO Tournament and received NJCAA Second Team All-American Honors. She finished her career at HCC with 609 rebounds and 364 points in a single season. Venice matriculated to NCAA Division I Winthrop University and received her bachelor's degree in chemistry. Today, she holds a PhD in biomedical sciences from the University of South Carolina, and she's a postdoctoral fellow at the Medical University of South Carolina. She has a passion for recruiting minorities and underrepresented groups into science, technology, engineering, and math research. Leon Broombeck is a graduate of Frostburg State University, where he played basketball, tennis, and ran track. Beyond his athletic accolades, Mr. Broombeck was the first African-American to earn a degree from Frostburg. He taught at area schools before being assigned to North Hagerstown High School, where he began coaching tennis in 1972. In the 20 years as coach, he compiled a record of 352 wins, 94 losses, and 8 ties, and he won two state championships. At one time, Mr. Broombeck's teams played 70 consecutive matches without a loss, and he's coached six undefeated teams. As an educator and a coach, Mr. Broombeck always required his players to conduct themselves as ladies and gentlemen on and off the court. And he set high expectations for academic excellence. He taught anthropology, world cultures, and black history, and was honored by being named Washington County Teacher of the Year in 1993. Steve Stone is a two-time NJCAA All-American and HJC record holder in both the discus and shot put, hurling the discus 152 feet and tossing the shot put 56 feet, 10 and a half inches. He finished second out of a large field of competition at the NJCAA meet in 1973. In 1976, Mr. Stone took home the Big East Conference outdoor shot put title with an international class toss of 61 feet three and a half inches at Kansas University. Thomas Cross was born in 1936 and attended the segregated school system in Hagerstown. He learned the rudiments of basketball at North Street School and the YMCA. He was able to play competitively by becoming a tuition student at Waynesboro High School. There, he set three different scoring records in his conference. Mr. Cross was awarded a full scholarship to Seton Hall, where he was a varsity starter for three years. He graduated with a degree in modern languages and played semi-pro ball in the Eastern League. Mr. Cross made education his career, and he served as assistant principal and principal in several school districts. 
We thank all the athletes for their contributions to their sport, our culture, and our community.